Well, welcome to another episode of uh, Kitchen Countertop Overview. It's Peter Tron Brownline. We're looking at the D1602 Power Pack. I purchased this Power Pack in 1986, brand new, from Calumet, with three M11 heads, two standards, one quartz, a boom stand, some reflectors, a couple of barn doors, a few other small accessories for $1,699. Here it is, you know, approaching 30 years later, and it still works fine, works great. What I like about the 1602 is its three-way power adjustment. It has a full power of 1600 watt seconds, dividable through four channels in symmetrical mode. At full power, four lights hooked up in symmetrical mode, we get four, 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 four. 400 watt seconds out of each head. At half power, four lights give us 200 watt seconds per outlet. At low power, it's kind of cool. You have 200 watt seconds on low. This pack's successor was the D1604. Instead of having a 200 watt second low, it has a quarter power, which is 400 watt seconds not quite as useful. It's really kind of neat to have a big power pack like this that can shoot at very low watt seconds. At 200 watt seconds, this power pack is as fast as many big professional packs. It is a big pack. It weighs 28 pounds. It weighs as much as a 2400 series black line pack. But at 800 watt seconds and 200, it is just loafing along. At 200 watt seconds, this thing doesn't even know it's shooting flash. You can shoot it all day long at 200 watt seconds at 50, 50, 50, 50, or even at lower powers if you go to asymmetrical. Now, the switches here are real simple. Asymmetrical does what it says, it divides the power differentially. One and two get the most power. This is the same in all the brown line forehead packs. One and two have the most power, and these have less. So what you got, real simple. Recycle button, sync cord. You plug in the sync cord here. Take that. Take your pocket wizard receiver. Plug it in. You've got that. You're all set to go. You can then shoot anything you happen to need to shoot with the pocket wizard. You can also use the standard blade style sync. Uh, Slave triggers from Ween or other makers works very well. You can also plug in the standard PC cord and go corded, you know, old school. It has two circuit breakers, one for model, one for power. I have never once actually tripped a breaker with this pack. Uh, it only takes a 10 amp cord. It's not, you know, drawing electricity like a mad fiend, so it works pretty well. As you can see, this is a 13,000 series item, so they're up to over 60,000 items right now. Speedo serial numbers go, you know, sequentially. You can have a light that will be the next item. You'll often find a pack and then two or three lights that are just, you know, one in a row, like 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, from a four light kit in a pack. The power distribution on this thing is right here. I'm going to bring it right up close here. And you can see the power distribution table is pretty simple. The guide numbers are with the old style 65 degree reflectors. That's an 11 and a half inch reflector that throws a 65 degree beam spread. Get out the old protractor and draw it out. It's quite a wide swath of light. The newer 11 and a half inch reflectors throw a 50 degree beam spread, which is significantly narrower and it boosts the power, the guide number, quite a bit. With this power pack at 10 feet with a standard 11 and a half inch reflector, the old style, guide number is 420. That's F42. With the new beam spread, narrow grid style reflectors, I'm going to guesstimate the guide number is going to go up to F, to go to 460 to 500. At 1200 watt seconds, it's 350. At 800, the guide number is 300. At 400, it's 210. So 
Four lights with umbrellas with a guide number of 210 uh, will light a pretty large area. You're typically not going to be using those size reflectors with umbrellas unless they're exceptionally large or you're just, you know, weird. Um, when you get down here to 100 watt seconds, the guide number is 105 at 65 degrees beam spread. The standard umbrella reflector covers 105 degrees. So with that, your guide numbers go down. Suffice it to say, this power pack, the 1600 at 28 pounds, is kind of like a studio pack. Um, it's not very portable in terms of you know, fitting into a small case. Um, it's power options, not that many, as is typical of the brown line. You can use the splitter here, this little dude, you know, one connector, two outlets, cuts the power in half. A typical setup here with three lights, and this is pretty common. This is why it goes well with the bigger black line packs. The 800, 200, 200 distribution nestles right in with the 2400 series and the 800 and the 400 series black lines. They are broken up in uniform blocks of like 800, 1200, 400, 200. So is this, so is this power pack for the most part. Three lights in asymmetrical mode. We can have one light at 800 and two at 200. Or we can have two lights at 560 and one at 280. With four lights, we can have two lights in the front channel at 480 watt seconds apiece, quite powerful, and then two at 120. If we'd like to have 60 watt seconds, we can obviously take the splitter and plug it into either of these two and create lower powered lights, like 120 and then two lights at 60 apiece. That would work up here too. So if, for example, let's say you want to have three lights, one at 800 watt seconds in a huge soft box is the main light for a whole set, and then you want to have three background lights, right? Well, you've got two, two here. So with this, you can add three lights and have one be 200, and then these two would be 100 apiece. If you had two splitters, you could add four lights potentially. This device gives you a lot more flexibility. It's really essential to have a splitter. So the 1602 is old. I do like it. It's very rugged. The 1604 is newer. Uh, same weight basically, and it's got a little bit different cosmetics. The 1604 has got a fan cooling system in it. This does not. has a lot of case area. I've never overheated this pack, and I've never once had to reset the model or the power. It has never popped a fuse or tripped a breaker. So this is the D1602 power pack, the brown line. Nice machine, simple, affordable, comes up a lot in full studio kits.